In this part of the operating systems course, we are going to cover virtual memory and paging. All the memory management policies we have discussed so far try to keep a number of processes in the memory simultaneously to allow multi-programming. But they require an entire process to be loaded in memory before it can execute. With virtual memory technique, we can execute a process which is only partially loaded in memory. Thus, the logical address space may be larger than physical memory. More processes can reside in memory to execute concurrently, hence a greater degree of multi-programming can be achieved. The need to run programs that are too large to fit in memory exists since the early days of computing. Solution adopted in 1960s splits programs into little pieces called overlays. Programs kept on the disk swept in and out of memory by the overlay manager. In virtual memory, each program has its own address space broken up into chunks called pages. Each page is a contiguous range of addresses. Pages are mapped onto physical memory, but not all the pages have to be in physical memory at the same time. When a page in physical memory is addressed, hardware performs the mapping on the fly. When the address page is not in physical memory, operating system is alerted to get the missing page and re-execute the instruction that failed. In paging, the operating system divides the physical memory into frames, which are blocks of small and fixed size. In this example, in the physical memory, we have frames numbered as frame zero up to frame five. Operating system divides also the logical memory, which is program, into pages which are block of size equal to frame size. In this example, we have a program, also it is called logical memory, having four pages, which are numbered from P0 to P3. The operating system uses a page table to map program pages to memory frames. The page zero is loaded to frame four. So in the page table, it is shown that it is stored in that frame. And page one is loaded in frame three, page two in frame one, and page three in frame five. Paging permits a program to allocate non-contiguous blocks of memory. Notice that in, in this example, P0 is loaded in frame four, but page one is not stored in the consecutive frame. Page sizes defined by the hardware. Generally, page sizes chosen as power of two, such as 512 first per page or 4,000 uh, 96 words per, uh, words per page, etc. With this arrangement, the words in the program have an address called as logical address. Every logical address is formed of pair P and D. Logical address P and D is defined as P is the page number, so it is obtained as logical address divided by S, and D is displacement, or also called as offset. It is obtained by logical address mode operation S, that is remainder after dividing by S. When a logical address PD is generated by the processor, frame number of F corresponding to page P is determined by using the page table. Physical address is calculated as 
frame number multiplied by s plus d and the memory accessed. If s is power of 2, in that case, as an easy way, the, the physical address is calculated as f concatenated by d. The logical address p and d is a location in the logical memory in page p and its displacement from the beginning of the page is d. So it is such an address. And if, if you consider this concatenation, it's a binary number starting from the beginning. It is corresponding to this word if, if page size is a power of two. To find out the physical address, the page table is used to access the page table and the corresponding frame number is taken from there and it is used as the high order bits of the physical address and it is concatenated by the displacement so it is corresponding to an address which is in the frame f and the distance of the word from the beginning of the frame is d and also if you consider this as a binary address from the beginning of the memory it will correspond to this word example consider the following to form a physical memory map page size is eight words so this is two to the power three displacement is three bits physical memory size is 128 words divide that size by the page size so 128 divided by 8 equal to 16 we have 16 frames in the physical memory 16 is 2 to the power 4 because of that the frame number can be represented by 4 bits su maximum program size is 4 pages so page number requires two bits. A program of three pages, P0, P1 and P2, where P0 is loaded at frame 3, P1 is loaded at frame 6, and P2 is loaded at frame 4 in this example. So if we consider the logical memory, logical memory is the program and the words are contiguous in the logical memory. The first eight words, because page size is eight, is corresponding to page zero. The next eight words is corresponding to page one, and then comes the page two. And in the page table, we have the pages zero, one, two, this is a three page program, and here it is shown that page zero is at frame three. If you consider the frame three here, we have verse zero up to verse seven, which is corresponding to content of the page zero in the logical memory. Page one is loaded at frame six. So here in frame six, we have the words from eight to 15. And the last page, page two, is loaded at frame four. So it is loaded in this area of the memory from word 16 up to word 23. So notice that the words in the physical memory are not contiguous. However, it was contiguous in the logical memory. The logical program which is three pages are shown here. Logically, they are contiguous, just starting from word zero up to word 23. The logical addresses are starting from zero 
h time it is incremented by one. From zero to seven is corresponding to page one. And then comes the address eight, nine, up to 15. These addresses are corresponding to the page two. And then comes page three, starting with address 16 up to 23. Because we have at most four pages, two, two bits are for page number, and the remaining bits are for displacement. And notice that for all the words in page zero, the page number is zero, and the displacement is starting from zero, each time incremented by one, and it is increased to seven for word seven. And each one is showing what is the distance of this word from the beginning of the page. For example, this one has distance zero, this one has distance one, and the last word has distance seven from the beginning of the page. If we consider the second page, page numbered as page one, and here, this page number is always zero one, and again, the displacement is starting with zero and increased up to seven. The, the last page, page two, here we have one zero as the page number, and displacement is changing from zero to seven. The offsets are written here. The least significant three bits are corresponding to offset. So as I explained previously, it is starting from zero, increased up to seven, again becomes zero, increased up to seven, and the same for the last page. Page numbers are copied here. These are the page numbers, it's the same for the page zero, it is zero. Here it is one and it is two for the last page. Because in the system that we consider in this example, we have 16 frames. It is two to the power four. We have four bits to represent the frame number. And because page zero is loaded in frame three. Three is represented as four bits as the frame number. And it's the same for all the words in page zero. Similarly, the page one is loaded at frame two. We have two here in four bits for all the words. And for the last page, page two, they are loaded at frame four. We have four here as four bits. When the, when the frame number is concatenated with the displacement, then we have the physical address. This is saying that the word zero at logical address zero has a physical address 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And here at next location in the physical memory, the next word, word one is loaded and up to word seven, they are loaded in frame three. And for the, for the next word, it comes just after verse seven in the logical memory, but because it is loaded at frame six, then it is loaded somewhere in the memory with this address. And notice that it is not the address coming just after this one. The pages are not contiguous in the memory. And this provides us 
freedom for loading the pages in the memory. Whenever there is a free frame, the page can be loaded there. So these are the physical addresses for the words in the page one. And then comes the physical addresses, which are obtained by the frame number concatenated by the displacement, or it's also called offset. We obtain the physical addresses as shown here. In some computer systems, memory management unit is implemented in the CPU package together with the central processing unit itself. The central processing unit sends virtual addresses to the memory management unit. And then memory management unit sends physical addresses to the memory. Here, the memory management unit is shown as being a part of the CPU chip because it commonly is nowadays. However, logically, it could be a separate chip and was so years ago. The relation between virtual addresses and physical memory addresses is given by the page table. Here it is assumed that each page is 4K. So the addresses between 0K and 4K is corresponding to page 0. Then comes the addresses between 4K and 8K. This is corresponding to page 1, etc. And this table is the page table. It is showing that page, page 0 is loaded at frame 2. So its addresses is between 8K and 12K. This is the frame 0 between 0K and 4K. Then frame 1 with 4K address and 8K. Then comes frame 2, etc. In this example, notice that physical memory is smaller than the logical memory. So it is not possible to load each page into the memory. Some of them are loaded. And if they are loaded into the physical memory, here the corresponding frame number is written. However, if it is not in the physical memory, then there is a special sign saying that it is not in the physical memory. The relation between virtual addresses and physical memory addresses is given by the page table. Every page begins on a multiple of 4K, that is 4096, and ends with 4000. 4K to 8K means 4096 up to 8191. 8K to 12K means the addresses from 8192 up to 12,000. 287. Now consider some instructions in the in the uh, logical logical program. This is saying that move the content of the register to zero. So this is virtual page zero. And if, if this, is the, this is the logical instruction, because in the physical memory, that page is loaded in this part, then the address zero should be converted to that address, which is in the physical page two. This is the address zero in virtual page zero. This is the corresponding address in the physical memory, and it is physical page in the physical page too. Another one, move register 
to this address. Again, this is logical address. It is in the virtual page two. It is here in the virtual page two, but it is in the frame six. So it is converted to the physical address. It becomes move register 24,576, which is in physical page six. If we consider move register 13,780, which is a, which is the by 12 in virtual page eight, it is this one in this page. And notice that this page is not in the physical memory. It is not loaded here. There is a special sign saying that. Because of that, there should be a page fault. This is saying that it is not in the memory. And that page, which is virtual page eight, should be swept in from the secondary storage, for example, to frame one. This is page eight, logical page eight, and it is loaded to frame one. This is frame zero, it is loaded to frame one here. And now consider the same operation, move register to this address, this is again by to work in virtual page eight, becomes move register 4108. This is page size multiplied by one plus 12. So it is an address here in frame one. The page number is used as an index to the page table. If the present absent bit is zero, we have a special bit showing that if that page is in the main memory or not. If it is zero, that means that it is not in the main memory. A trap to the operating system is caused. So this is saying that there is a page fault. If the bit is one, the page frame number is copied to the high order three bits of the output register along with the 12 bit offset. Together they form a 15 bit physical address. The inter internal operations of the memory management unit with 16 of 4 kilobyte pages. There is an incoming virtual address. This virtual address is 8196. Virtual page two is used as an index to the page table. Because if we consider high order four bits, this is corresponding to page two, and the remaining bits are corresponding to the displacement. This is the logical address. We are taking this part as the page number. We are going to the page table, and this is saying that this page, page two, is loaded at frame six. And also here, there is a value one saying that it is really in the physical memory. And then we are taking this frame number as the three bits of the physical address. In this lower bits, we have the displacement. This 12 bit offset copied directly from input to the output. Together with, we have a 15 bit address. So the outgoing physical address is 24,580. Structure of a page table A3 is as follows. As given here, we have different parts. Protection bits tell what kinds of access are permitted. For example, read, write, etc. This one. Modified and referenced bits keep track of page usage. Modified bit is sometimes called dirty bit. 
it means that whether it is updated or not, if any information is written into that page. If written, that means that the content is changed and we are saying that dirty bit becomes one. Reference bit is set whenever a page is referenced, either for reading or for writing. 